Hi there, welcome to Milo and Marcus Garage. We are a couple of slightly experienced mechanics with uh, roughly one or two years of experience. Uh, and we are doing, well, bikes and other stuff, mostly bikes. Today we've got on our hands a Honda Shadow VT125C 1999 model. It's a. Uh, it was bought for 2000 krona, which is around. Uh, well, let's say 200 or 300 dollars, let's say. Basically free in Norway. Uh, when we bought it, it was not in a running condition, everything was frozen, the wheels were locked, brakes were locked, nothing started, basically a dead bike. Uh, what we did was unlock the rear brake, uh, we tinker a bit, we are, well, we are tinkering a bit with the front brake, uh, we clean it up a little bit, we did a clean of the carb, and we tried to make, well, the engine start, which we succeeded in, uh, fortunately. But uh, what came to be is that the engine is running, the bike is driving, but it's driving like shit, and it's running like shit. Uh, due to basically a vacuum leak of the air, obviously, um, so this is what we are going to be trying to fix now, uh, we're going to be tinkering with the main, uh, uh, fuck is it, what's it called, uh, the uh, main intake manifold, uh, we're going to try to put some carb cleaner mix into the tank, around the bike a little bit, see if it helps, basically what is happening is, what I'm going to present is a video from Bikes and Beards, great channel, go, go subscribe to them. bike is at some point when you're running it goes um, into like a fake state of a RPM block where the well the RPMs don't go up anymore the bike is kind of stuck on it you can go down but you can't go up and the power is well almost uh, well there is almost no power uh, so the ma maximum KPH, oh KMH, right? KMH, yeah, right, KMH. You can get from this bike right now is around 30, which is well a margin of what is supposed to do. This bike is supposed to go easily up to 100 kilometers per hour. Uh, so this is what we are going to be trying to fix today. And you might be wondering why the hell are we doing this? We are both inexperienced, and uh, well, why are we? giving this and putting this out on YouTube. Basically, the two main reasons are number one, we are going to be recording everything we do so if we forget how is how something is built um, we can always open up uh, the good old PC and look up uh, the video and well, just, you know, check what we've unscrewed, what we've screwed and put it up again, which is great. And the number two reason is that, um, well, we want to share what we know with you guys and we hope that you guys will share what you know with us. Because there's tons of stuff we don't know about this bike. Carb, the carb on this bike is a nightmare. It's, there are so many hoses and it's, uh, it's kind of a magical carb. We have kind of not really figured out how to properly work it. Because the choke doesn't seem to be a normal choke, it's kind of semi-automatic where it's, it lifts itself up automatically and lowers itself down automatically. So yeah, uh, we hope to um, help others and the others will help us, so you know, what we are doing is definitely not professional. We hope to get professional someday, but who knows. So uh, well, enjoy the show and go ahead, like, comment and subscribe. Yes. Okay, guys. Well, 
What we are gonna try to do is uh, we've put some uh, extra car cleaner into the tank. Gonna try to start the bike. Uh, we'll see if it will help a little bit. Uh, and afterwards, we're probably we're gonna be uh, taking off the uh, main intake manifolds because we believe that is what well is broken here and that's causing the vacuum leaks. So let's do it. Okay. Well, we're gonna start it now. Look. Oh, ganz gebrochen. I'm using some. Stop. No. No, stop. Good. 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 What you can guys see is basically
the bike is running like shit and uh, well it dies uh, basically what is happening is we have to have the bike with the choke on all the time or it will die uh, and that's because the choke limits the amount of air that's being poured into the engine right so when you open up the choke you get more gas into the engine less air what means basically what that means is there's already too much air in the engine so <clears throat> we've got a vacuum leak obviously and uh, well that's what we are going to be trying to fix today or well fix at all I'm not sure it's going to be today but we'll give it a try anyways uh, <clears throat> the bike is I mean from a mechanical point of view the engine seems to be running fine uh, it revs okay and uh, we've got power sometimes and sometimes we, we don't so basically what we are pretty sure about is that it's the bloody carb that's causing all the issues or the hoses or the intake manifold connected to that carb so uh, that's what we've been basically fighting the whole month is that carb and uh, well that's what we're going to be trying to do is jingle and work with these intake manifolds that go into the car uh, from the carb to the uh, cylinders because we've been told that these are the uh, well most likely things to fail and given give a vacuum leak so um, that's what we are going to be doing today I guess okay guys let's see uh, Jag vet inte, kan Henry Mont ta av heldriften igen? Uh, so, basically the, va the main intake manifolds seem to be crooked but we are not sure uh, we might have, you know, slightly moved them when we are working with the carbs cleaning them there might be cracks in the intakes and I mean this this thing is a 20 year old bike so uh, you can't expect it to run perfectly although it's only got like 30,000 kilometers on it uh, so that's what we are gonna be doing I guess <laughs> Long one, uh... Yeah, man, we can't see the Huh? We can see the flower. We can see the flower. We can see the flower. I think we can take all the gas and take out the intake manifold. And show them the pocket. Because if this pocket is not going to have a point. Wait, 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 Ta 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 Okay. 
so the tank is off as you can see these carbs are a bloody nightmare because they got some automatic fucking chokes and it's extremely annoying it's just really a pain uh, so they were stuck closed when we started out working on them and well we got them moving a little bit but we still we are still not sure if they're working properly but what we are looking at are these little intake manifolds because we are not so sure that they are seated correctly and well trying to look at them examine them well I never too sure too certain of that okay guys so basically we got these two main intake manifolds they don't look like much but uh, that's it nothing more it's kind of tiny but I guess um, that's how they were meant to be as you can see especially this one it's got four cracks tiny cracks across the whole thing so and there's some chips on the outside as well so we are pretty sure that these are leaky and uh, also you probably put them in properly uh, but still we are kind of well best action best course of action right now is just to replace these these are quite cheap it's like uh, uh, well it's like 20 bucks or 15 bucks a, a piece and uh, that's fine so we're gonna be replacing them ordering new ones um, and uh, we'll see if that helps uh, we, we hope it will do because unless this fixes the the vacuum leak problem well we don't really have any other clues as to what is causing the leaks so we are really hoping that that's the, the issue with these if there's some more problems I'm gonna have to buy new carbs and carbs are expensive uh, so I'm really hoping that these are the only two issues and well we'll we'll see how it is but yes we are going to open up this uh, sheet yes Basically, what we are working on right now is uh, this uh, handbrake, front brake, whatever you want to call it. It's uh, well, it's not giving out fluid, so we can't do anything with it. It um, seems to be a uh, uh, well clogged somewhere here, and since these stuff are pretty expensive, it's like a so basically the the piston is doing its thing, it's giving out it's pressurizing, right? Just Fine. air. Well there's only air coming out, so basically uh, we're not so sure about it. We think that uh, it's basically a clog somewhere here that limits the well the fluid come in or come out. And since these are around like a hundred and twenty bucks a piece, we don't really want to spend that much money on a part that we can possibly fix ourselves. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to up I mean, I'll just put up the e
fluid, fluid, fluid. Jag är inte så Vi kommer vara här i han har vaskat på två bollar. Han är inte så skitnärt. Han är inte Environment, put in the <sighs> So these parts have already been cleaned once by us, but didn't really do us any good because the uh, well, the brake is still clogged, and uh, not sure, not so sure why, but. Jag ska försöka att fixa det här. Det är blå. Det var inte blå för. En dritt var gul för. Kvit. Var det? Ja. Åh, det var tufft. Nej, det är inte en bra kvar. Vad gör du? Jag tränger en flata in. No, 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 no. Grejt då. Fan, nu putter jag för det. So we got this thing, which seems to have an O-ring, which is completely intact. It's pretty clean. We have not really, we don't really know what this does. I mean, it doesn't really limit or filter anything. So okay. maybe like larger p pieces if something gets in. The okay, maybe a one air and one, one in and one out. One out. Trying just not going. So the the YouTube has an automatic cover set. Uh, so, uh, so basically, uh, this thing has got two holes in it. We think that one of them is inlet, one of them is outlet, perhaps? We don't really know, we're not really, we're not really sure. But, uh, the only seems, we, we've got only one of the holes to actually, well, kind of move anything. We can. When you look inside, I don't think you will see it, but when we look inside, one of the holes are pushing in air bubbles and the other one is, well, seems to be stuck. We might have to get a tiny drill bit. Something private. Oh, yeah, maybe... <laughs> oh it's giving a good wash with some WD-40, you know? Not sponsored or anything, but, you know, good product. Uh, well, we've got it a bit cleaned up now. We're gonna try to blow some compressed air through it. See if it helps, and well, worst case scenario, we go get a new one. Ask us again, come to the club, we'll be later. Could you buy some? There ought to be more there. So, I'll be taking you with us. And you'll give us some friendly advice. Who knows? Yada! Noise alert! Sorry, a bit late to the whatever.
guys, we seem to have uh, one of the holes here. Seems to be here, and the other one, like the normal piston thingy. Ah, isn't it wonderful, Norwegian winter? Looks nice, doesn't it? Okay guys, so what you are about to witness is an absolute atrocity of a mechanism to try to force suck the oil out of the chamber. Maybe we'll fix it, maybe not, but this is the best we ca came, up <laughs> we came up with. I think YouTube is going to delete this video. Oh no, 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 it's gonna get, it's gonna be fabulous. <laughs> so this is gonna get, gonna get the big suck by this uh, very nice vacuum cleaner and we're going to try to well s just suck the oil out we'll see if it works <laughs> this is the most makeshift redneck thing we did so far but you know if this works it's going to be great and if it doesn't work well we just buy a new well you know like b brake lever uh, stuff engage suck <laughs> Okay, take it off. Ja, i hvert fall vi sjekker hva som, uh, hva som ble til. Let's take a look at what we managed to do with this nefty uh, makeshift thing. Probably nothing, yeah, but, well, We'll see. Some yeah, here you go. Present. Uh, it's a single drop of oil. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. This thing is garbage. I think there's gonna be a. It's gonna go straight to the trash. Gonna try to pull out as many spare parts out of it as we can, and it's gonna go straight into the garbage bin, I guess. Okay guys, so uh, we are going to wrap up now, we've been working on this bike for well, uh, around, around 4-5 hours, uh, we've managed to take this uh, most likely leaking broken old uh, intake manifolds off and uh, order some new ones, replace them. Uh, also, we've been uh, working and tinkering on the uh, main front brake master cylinder. This thing, it seems to be, well, it is not working basically. We're trying to fix it. Uh, next time, we're going to try to pry it open and look inside uh, at the cylinder if there's anything that should be fixed. Probably there is something that should be fixed. I'm going to order some new parts for the well, manifolds and uh, probably some hoses. No one new. Uh, and yeah, um, that will probably be the next episode. So uh, thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope we learned something. Well, we hope we learned something as well. And uh, 
Like, comment, and subscribe. And bye.